Hi, buddies. It's me, Chinky. Today, we are going to make a painting using bubble wrap. Ooh, the bubble wrap makes such a cool texture on that painting. Here's all you need to get started with this project. Some toilet paper rolls, rubber bands, a can with some water, bubble wrap of course, plain paper, paints in a variety of colors, a tray for your paints, and brushes. Also, don't forget to cover your surface in case you get paint on the table. The first thing you do is make some stencils out of bubble wrap. So we need a toilet paper roll for that and a small piece of bubble wrap that's cut just a little bit larger than the opening of the toilet paper roll. You'll also need a rubber band. Take a rubber band and secure the bubble wrap to one end of the toilet paper roll. Repeat that for as many toilet paper rolls or stencils as you want to use. All done with those. Now today I'm going to be painting a landscape with a rainbow. You can paint anything you want. But to start, I'm gonna make the sky. So I'm going to use a couple colors for this guy. This sort of really light tealish blue and another really light pale blue. I like to use multiple colors because as the colors mix together, it makes a really cool effect. I'll put these out into my paint tray. Take one of your toilet paper tubes and dip the bubble wrap end into your paint. If you get a big glob of paint like this, just gonna wipe it off so we don't have quite so much paint. Now I'm gonna paint the sky. Just making little splotches and don't be afraid to turn your stencil to get different shapes. Just keep pressing your stencil down until your sky is nice and filled in with color. It's a lot of fun using this toilet paper stencil. I like this cool texture that the bubble wrap creates. You can't really get this using a paintbrush. Looks like my sky is almost finished. I left a little bit of room for the land, so let's make that next. I think I'll use shades of green. I got three fun shades of green here, kind of a forest green, an olive green, and a nice light green. So I'll use a combination of those. Now I'll take another clean stencil and I'll make my land. We'll make nice green grass here for our land. Don't worry about combining your paint colors. I think everything looks better when the colors are a little bit mixed together. I love painting. I find that it really calms me down. I think that looks pretty good for our land. Next up, let's make a little sun. It's gonna be a sunny day in our little painting world today. Um, for that, I think I'm gonna use a combination of light orange and yellow. You know me, I like using more than one color at once. Now I'm gonna take a fresh stencil and dip it in my paint. Now where should I put my sun today? I think right here. Since this stencil is just a circle shape, I'm just gonna press down once and see how that looks. I think it's good, I'm gonna go in one more time. I'm just gonna spread this out a little so our sun is nice and filled in. And there we go, we have a sun. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is paint my rainbow. For this, we're gonna use a slightly different technique than our toilet paper stencils before. 
I'm gonna push this painting back a little bit. And now I have one more big piece of bubble wrap right here. <laughs> I like popping it too. But I'm not gonna pop the whole thing. We still have to use it to paint. Place your big piece of bubble wrap down. And now I'm going to paint my rainbow onto the bubble wrap and press it down like a stamp. For this part, I'm gonna use my paintbrush to paint the rainbow design onto the bubble wrap. I'm gonna start with red, and I'm gonna make a nice big rainbow today. I'll start by just making the outline of my rainbow, and then I'll go over it again to really make it nice and bright. That looks good for the red. Now I'm gonna move on to the orange. I'll draw that line right up next to my red. This orange kind of looks like the orange that I had for breakfast. Don't be afraid to put a lot of paint on your bubble wrap. Now let's move on to the yellow. This yellow is so nice and bright. It reminds me of a school bus. Looking great so far. Next up, let's do some green. This is a really vibrant green. Our rainbow's really starting to come together. This green looks like the color of grass to me. Let's paint blue next. I ate some blueberries today that were kind of this color. <laughs> and what other blue things can you think of? And last but not least, purple. I think our rainbow's just about done. Yep, I think that's ready to go on. Now it's time to put our rainbow stencil onto our painting. I'll bring it up a little closer. So now you take your stencil and you simply line it up where you want it to go and press it on. Press it down to make sure that the colors transfer from the bubble wrap onto the paper. Now, let's peel off the bubble wrap and see what we have. Whoa! Look at that super cool rainbow! I love how you can still see the little dots of the bubble wrap. That was so much fun. I like how it looks like the sky is filled with little white puffy clouds and the sun is just peeking out from behind the rainbow. I think this turned out great. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have fun experimenting with your own bubble wrap paintings. You can paint a rainbow like this or you can paint anything you want. The sky's the limit. I'll see you again soon and happy creating!